your big day is arriving or you've got a friend that wants to get married well you need a great fragrance you're not gonna put out the best dress of your life with a shitty fragrance no <laughs> let me give you some recommendation for the choice of your wedding day fragrance for men and for women you have the timeline in the description if you want one or the others or both <laughs> my ultimate tips for choosing wisely your wedding set. Number one, consider your wedding theme. If it's a summer wedding, you're probably going to go for a lighter, summery, tropical fragrance, maybe something cultural, uh, your origin, your religion, uh, whatever. Try to be like coordinate. Second tip, don't pick your signature scent. Like the fragrance you wear every day is definitely not your wedding day fragrance because it doesn't feel special anymore. But take the fragrance that you wear every day and try to find something that is maybe more luxurious, a little bit more special. Like for example, me, I love amber fragrance. Uh, maybe I'm gonna choose like something slightly ambery for my wedding day. Number three, go sentimental. You need something that reminds you memories. You need something that is meaning something to you. This is at the end, your special day. Number four, you can coordinate your scent with your bride, your future husband. Try to have the same vibe going on so you match beautifully as much as you do in real life. Next advice, look at the bottle. You might want to take pictures and arrangements with the bottle of your fragrance. So the bottle needs to feel a bit special. It needs to be classy, it needs to be nice for pictures. Exactly like showing your wedding dress to your kids. You'll be like, look, this is my wedding dress. But you can take your beautiful bottle of fragrance and be like, look, this is what mommy used to wear. <laughs> Last advice is take two fragrances. If your wedding is during the day and finish with the party during the night, maybe you would like something for the day and something maybe a little bit more intense for the night. Choose something that is the same vibe as the first one, but a little bit warmer. Of course, for um, someone that doesn't know what to choose and doesn't know about fragrance, all these advice are a bit complicated. Uh, so I would say always ask advice from a fragrance specialist or in a store. And now let me give you uh, some name of fragrances that I absolutely love. Uh, let's start by the lady. Gardenia by Chanel. Every time I smell this fragrance, I smell a wedding day. It smells like a fresh bouquet of flowers, so it feels romantic, but also natural. It's a little bit of a cliche, but I think for a wedding, you shouldn't go over the top. You should go like something that is lingering on the skin, that it smells beautifully and fresh, that not gonna make you heavier for the daytime, because you're gonna do a lot of things. So I think you need something that lifts up the mood. And Gardenia has really a beautiful thing like this because it's still quite fresh, but it's very opulent. Longevity is great. Be careful of longevity because you want it to uh, last. But uh, so test it on the skin, that's really important. Don't choose your scent of the wedding the day before. Two is MDCI Peche Cardinal. And you know, I was talking about the bottle. Look at this bottle. And I've got a friend that does love uh, anything little baroque. And I know like she was really interested by this fragrance for a wedding day. I think it's a great, great option. I think a peachy note is slightly sensual, but at the same time, uplifting, fruity uplifting. It's a very beautiful fragrance, very delicate, slightly powdery. I feel it's got something really unique in there. I would definitely consider for me uh, for a wedding day, but uh, this is not gonna happen anytime soon. I don't really feel ready for weddings. I would be kind of the person that would like to do my wedding actually, like in a desert island. Number three is Floris and it's Bouquet de la Reine. And the reason why I give you that is that, for, first of all, uh, the name means uh, the Queen's Bouquet. So I think it's like Gardenia, a little bit more green. So it has a green and even more natural aspect. I feel every time you put floral, like Lily of the Valley, with a bit of green on it, it gives something ultra sophisticated, but easy. Personally, if ever get married, I would like my scent to be from Floris. When I think of that, I think of the royal family. You do have though in Floris uh, wedding bouquet, <laughs> directly like you have the fragrance for your wedding. But personally, I prefer Bouquet de la Reine, so... Since Valaya by Parfum de Marly, the first time I smelled it and I did my review on it, I was like, this is a wedding fragrance. Velvety, uplifting with fruit, you know, but mainly what you smell is orange blossom, and I feel like orange blossom is the more delicate, poetic thing you could put in the fragrance. Something classy to me, um, not invasive. It does have a little bit of something sweet on the skin. The color of the bottle really reflects what you have inside. So for me, 
it's a love. You have Haldehyde. Haldehyde is a molecule that really put the fragrance like a little bit more fizzy and bubbling. So number five, I need to talk about this fragrance because in the UK, the most popular ever fragrance for a wedding day, Peony and Blush Sweet by Jo Malone. I, do, I wouldn't put the most popular fragrance as my uh, fragrance of the day, but you should smell it because usually the bride really tend to go for this fragrance and I understand why. Nully like tea like, it's very uh, sophisticated, stays quite a long time. The peony is something a little bit like feminine, uh, slightly delicate, but also quite opulent when you wear it. You can smell it from far away, this fragrance. Let's go for the men now, or oh, unisex, non-gender. I want to talk about a midsummer dream. This is something I would definitely wear as well. Uh, imagine you're going for a spring uh, wedding or a summer wedding. This is amazing. They really replicated an aesthetic that is super dreamy in this fragrance. You have LME, so it feels a bit waxy and warmer at the end of the fragrance, but mainly you have aromatic green vibe, super juicy grapefruit and a bit of cardamom. It's super unisex, ultimate class. Next one is Creed. And I'm talking globally about the house. I feel if you want to choose wisely your wedding day, you should definitely book yourself an appointment to Creed. I think just the fragrance are long lasting in general. Uh, these are fragrances that are super classy and also popular. So it matches a lot of need, so it could be non-invasive for uh, your people, <laughs> your invitees. A recommendation that is super popular for men is Aventus. Personally, I think I wouldn't probably choose that because the fact that it's super popular, so every time you will smell someone in the street, you will smell this. But it's true that it's with fruity pineapple vibe and woody undertone, it's just a perfect balance of ingredients and a perfect balance for a wedding day. Personally, in the house of Creed, I will choose Royal Wood. This is something personally I wear every day. This fragrance is really, truly special. It's got an undertone that is slightly warmer with the time. It blossoms on men's skin. These delicate spices are here to give like some tone, some character. The wood is not animalic, so don't worry. The ultimate royal fragrance. Uh, this is one of my favorite fragrances on my boyfriend, actually. Like last time when he wore it, I was like, oh my God, you're wearing royal wood. I think, I think it's just so elegant. On this day, you're going to wear a suit, so you definitely want to smell gentleman. Other recommendation from Creed, Green Irish Creed. If you want to be a little bit more classic, more mature vibe, I think this is great. And Millésime Imperial. So if you want something a trendy, a little bit more bling bling, a little bit uh, loud, uh, Millésime Imperial. It's a great wedding scent. I love that. Next one is Tom Ford Grey Vetiver. Let's play it safe in this one. Slightly earthy with uh, the vetiver note. Tom Ford for me in fashion is the ultimate tuxedo suit. So grey vetiver is the image of that suit. So for me, you make absolutely no mistake with grey vetiver, especially the eau de parfum. This is such a great scent. You assure yourself longevity, super classy, not too much crazy, an understated effortless class. So <laughs> there's another house that you definitely need to book yourself an appointment to if you are going to a wedding day and it's and it's Amouage. Amouage for me, a great fragrance house if you want some character, some uniqueness, amazing quality of ingredient, which I think for me is key uh, in your wedding scent. You know, you're wearing the best attire you will be in probably your whole life. So you need a fragrance that has amazing quality of ingredient, just like your outfit. Jubilation 25, a little bit of fruity nose with uh, blackberries, which I think it's so beautiful. It's warm, slightly spicy, inviting. You know, me, it's very strange, but when I smell it, I smell a bit of cinnamon, for example. But this is royal, but a slightly more Middle Eastern, Oriental, Royal vibe. You're totally spot on if especially you're having a wedding that is happening during winter or autumn. You have many choices in the house of Amouage. Lyric Man, if you want like a slightly rosy fragrance for men. Reflection Man, that is absolutely stunning. Also feels more romantic fragrance. I love that. And if your uh, wedding is in summer, Beach Hat Man, it does work. So finally, I want to go for a very unisex fragrance. So like, if you're like me and you like ambery fragrance, you want something a little bit darker, especially for the night, it's something a little bit more warmer and sensual. I wouldn't go to the sexy for the wedding, 
Van Cleef and this is Ambre Imperial. The most classiest amber you will ever smell. It's dark, it's rich, but it's super easy to wear. All Van Cleef collection for me is great wedding scent because they are super classy, but also effortlessly uh, beautiful. You have Bois d'Amande, Bois Doré, like non-gender kind of fragrances. So I think it, may, it will make a lot of people happy. Guys, let me know in the comments what is what was your wedding day scent? We all want to know and why did you choose this one? If you're not gonna get married anytime soon, let me know which fragrances you were thinking about, just like me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Leave a little like on the video. This is something that is free and it makes me happy. Big thank you, thank you for my utiper and super and the people that are uh, super thank super thanking. That's a verb now. Super thanking. <laughs> Christine, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, this will help the channel to grow by some new material. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day, guys. See you soon. Bye now.